Hi, in this video we will try to lighten and speed up the Windows 11 system as much as possible to free up all possible resources for programs and games, while the system continues to work stably. Here, for example, how the result in the benchmark will change. The increase will be from 56.33 to 61.24, 9%, not bad at all. At the end of the video you will see what has changed in RAM consumption and how much FPS has increased in the game. The steps that we will take are suitable for both Windows 11 and all other versions of Windows. So subscribe to PCNP and let's start speeding up. Step 1 – The most obvious – remove all unnecessary applications and we start with the simplest. In the parameters we open apps, install apps and delete everything that is possible. We leave only the drivers and libraries of Visual C++, VCL, what we need for games. And I also leave what I need for tests. So far this is the list of apps. Now return to the previous menu and go to optional features. Remove all installed components from the list. I left only WMIC, needed for the command line, notepad and terminal. Below select the item more Windows features and in this list uncheck everything that is not needed. Net framework is needed for games, so you can delete it. And all sorts of others for networks for printing you can. The only thing about online games is to be careful which network features can be removed. Step 2. Disabling Windows Defender. We have a separate video that covers this step in detail. If short, we turn off all the antivirus settings switches in the parameters. Go to the registry editor and here we need to create several keys that will block the antivirus from starting. After that we reboot in safe mode and disable the service that is responsible for the antivirus. This is the WinDefend service. Change the start parameter to 4. And in order to have an effect, open the permissions of this parameter and forbid the system to change anything. We also disable and change permissions in these folders. Step 3. Remove built-in Windows applications. To do this you can use the commands in the PowerShell. With this command you get a list of applications and their names. Here you can remove all built-in applications except Edge Browser. And with this one individual apps will be deleted. In this way go through all the applications from the list again except for libraries and drivers. If nothing is written then the command worked and if it is read, the application is most likely already deleted or could not be deleted. If you have Windows 11, then it is much easier to use the This is Windows 11 application. Link in the description. Here on this page we simply select unnecessary apps and use the move button to transfer to the right to the trash. Once the list is complete, click on the empty trash button and as you can see out of 39 there are now 9 apps left. Click the button Show System Applications, the list will become even larger, but there are many more to remove. An activated licensed Windows always works more stable than its pirated versions. On the U Laptop website you can purchase a digital license at more affordable prices. There are also license codes for Microsoft Office, unlimited Google Drive and some other programs. Dozens of payment methods, instant delivery and a guarantee in solving problems with activation. Link in description. Step 4. Visual. Go to the System Settings, Advanced System Settings, Performance, select Adjust the best performance. The load from the Explorer will be even less. Step 5. Reset the processor counters. While the antivirus was running on the computer, it clogged up the processor counter, which slightly reduces performance. The counter control utility helps to reset the counter and this will positively affect the work. You need to press Reset and then OK. The sixth, Disable indexing. Turn off file indexing in the disk settings. Apply to all subfolders and files. The seventh, disk and registry cleaning. At this step I use additional software, which I will delete immediately after cleaning. The first program is a rack organizer. Here you can make several improvements to the registry to optimize the system and the internet. Scan the system for garbage and clean it. There is also detailed after load setting. You can remove everything unnecessary, including what starts with a delayed start. 
The next program is Wisecare 365. There is also cleaning here, but cleaning the registry is more interesting here. It must be done. And optimization contains many points. We do all this. And also install utilities, game booster and memory optimizer. After installation, turn off the afterload in the settings. These are cool little programs that come in handy for speeding up games. The game booster closes all processes and services that are not related to games, and the memory optimizer frees up maximum RAM and defragments it. Step 8. Power plan. In the system parameters, power and battery, set the mode to best performance. Step 9. Disable services. We are already moving to the finish line and now Windows will begin to become as easy as possible. Before the next steps you should switch to a local account and remove the password. Account settings, your data, choose to log in with a local account instead and leave the password blank. Now you can go into services and disable what you don't need. You probably already know how to do it. In the properties the startup type is disabled and if the system doesn't allow this to be done, we look at the name here, then we find the corresponding section in the registry and block permission for this service. Here of course you should be careful, there are such services that Windows will either not start with them or certain devices, the internet, etc. will not work. I have now disabled everything possible. As you can see, not everything works in the Explorer. Windows Hello is disabled, which is why it was necessary to remove the password, and many other familiar features are simply missing. But programs and games can be easily launched, and the internet also works fine. And now you can see which services are still enabled. Now the main question is whether it was worth it, turning off so many things. Let's check on the same tests on which we compared Windows 11 with Windows 10. We take the same results for Windows 11 and compare it with the current lightweight system. Test number 1. Task Manager. We run the game booster and memory optimizer before each test and as you can see we managed to lighten the system very well. Now Windows 11 consumes only 1.7 GB of RAM out of 16. I wonder how much it would be if the computer had less memory. Unfortunately, I cannot verify this. And there are significantly fewer processes because we turned off so many services. Test number 2. Benchmark. Signbench R23 previously reached the maximum result of 5633 points, and now the maximum turned out to be 6124. This is an increase of as much as 9%. Very well. Test 3. Video Converter. In this test, the lightweight windows also become faster, but not much. The video was processed one second faster. This is about 2% increase. I think because this laptop is powerful. Test 4. Game. We can now compare how the FPS has changed in the game for the Horizon 4. I synchronize the records, so at any time you can pause and compare the results. After accelerating, Windows 11 gave an increase of a couple of FPS and hit the ceiling. You can safely increase the graphics settings. I think on weaker hardware the acceleration will be even more noticeable, but even here it gave visible results. So friends, our experiments show that after doing several operations with Windows 11, you can independently turn it into super light and speed up games or specialized programs. This will be especially useful if your computer lacks performance. On such machines, increasing will be more powerful, and these actions will give you additional resources to cope with the tasks. Write in the comments what else you would do to speed up the system or what else can be removed. Also write what was new for you and general impressions. Watch also our other videos, you can find something interesting by scrolling through the video section. See you on the air!